the whole getting along with friends, get close to famous peeps. I kind of had that stupid mentality back then. Um, I mean, I mean, if you at learn. least worked on it, you work, you worked on it, and you learned from it. But some people just don't, you know, learn from it, and it kind of causes problems. Yeah, and uh, and it kind of gets to the point where it becomes more or less a dangerous thing. Okay, so now we're in Turian. Yeah, I should be able to get this done in no time. This took a bit longer than expected. I'm gonna go ahead and just save here. Yeah, because like I think I can like I, I think you can understand like especially from my recent situation without me mentioning it like how bad it can get. The final stretch of the game. Yes, exactly. Oh god, these assholes! Oh no 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 no! Oh crap! Get off of me, you son of a bitch! No! Oh no. Why won't you turn around? Do you just secretly want to be consumed? You know what? I'm just gonna have to leave the room. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what is that thing, anyways? It's a Metroid. Oh. Uh, oh, that. Oh, that's that. The, no, nope, name get of the off game. Of me. Nope. Stupid Rinkas. That's what those fire chariots are called. Rinkas. Uh. <laughs> I do not consent. <laughs> I don't consent. <laughs> um, why do I like orcas so much? Um, I guess. Question a lot. Um... <laughs> Um, I like orcas because they're like one of those animals that are misunderstood a lot because they think that just because they're like monsters and all that like they're like they're quote-unquote killer whales that they're not really good animals and like because like a good example is the fact of like we haven't had many good positive movies about killer whales recently other than Free Willy other than Free Willy, because the other ones we have are Blackfish and um, the one that's literally called Orca, which is legit a horror movie. I only know this because my dad has the movie, and I don't know why he wanted it. But, like, it, it's also because Orcas are really pretty when you think about it. And they're, even though they're called killer whales, they're not whales. They're more related to dolphins than they are to whales. And I just kind of am one of those people that wants to appreciate, like, what they are and how they are. And actually see the good in them, because so, they are pretty. My question is, if killer whales are not actually whales, why is the name whale in their name? Because they're big like whales, and they're more- they more- they look more like whales than they do look more like dolphins. But, the fact of the matter is they- they act more like dolphins than they do whales. Because, just like, um, I had to do a report on this once, but like, just like dolphins have echolocation oh, no, to help find their, um, uh, echo- uh, dolphins have echolocation to help them find their, um, Hey, Chica, help hold on just one second. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it's already at zero, but... I just... I, I gush over these moments. I love <laughs> how these are just played out in a 16-bit game. But, um... Yeah, the orcas, like, have, like, echolocation like dolphins do to help them find their food. And they live in pods, like dolphins. So they're oh. more or less... They act more or less like dolphins than they do whales, because whales tend to like live on their own most of the time and they don't use echolocation okay and also they're just mammals because i think whales are not mammals they are more or less fish because they have blubber <laughs> dolphins don't have blubber that i know of i'm gonna have to start saving up my uh, super missiles so that way um that'll have me prepared to take on Never mind. 
Where there's a person who played as an orca girl. What do you mean? Well, that's the saving point over there. Yeah, long and short, that's why I like orcas. <laughs> Oh, I see garbage day modes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just take care of all of this first. Yeah. Damn it. Now to go back and... Damn it! Can this even be called a speedrun at this point? I mean, the I idea was don't. to beat it under three hours. I mean, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know if it's still considered a speedrun. I mean, a lot of, like, I know that there's people who do, like, legit cool speedruns. They're like there's, yeah, like, there's tricks that they've learned that I can't even figure out. Yeah. And especially, like, I've seen people speedrun Pokemon games, and I'm like, dude, how are you speedrunning? Dude, they, I've seen people speedrun through Zelda games. Those games take, like, months to get through. And yeah. somehow they're I able saw, to pull that off. I saw someone speedrun through FNAF once. I'm like, oh my gosh, you have more patience to speedrun that game than anyone I know. Because <laughs> there's technically, like, seven nights to Finite oh, Freddy. Oh, wait, 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 go back, I need to revive my health. You know, it's a good thing that ads are playing, so that way you guys will be ready for the big finale. Yeah. Alright, come on. Hey, did I tell you that Draft kind of encouraged me to have a new redeem on my streams? A new what? Redeem. A redeem? Yeah, for my streams. Like, for channel points. <laughs> You'll see it the next time you join in one of my streams. It's funny, because now everyone under the sun just spams it. And I'm like, oh no, I need cooldowns for these. <laughs> Aww. Ah, stupid Rinkas, get out of here. Piss off. Oh, is that the thing that you're supposed to kill right now? Yes, Mother Brain. Ah. Uh. Oh, there we go. The fake Cheerios, yeah. Which version of Turing do you uh, like more? Super Metroid is it? Super Metroid. Because trying to take a Mother Brain in Zero Mission was such a bitch. This one, like, there's actually a strategy you can figure out. Like, it's the same strategy you developed in the original Metroid. Oh god, what the heck? Are you watching it directly uh, on my uh, Discord? I'm looking on the on the stream itself. Yeah, uh, Shuka, I've got it uh, shared on my Discord. I, I yeah, I was like, I I'm still looking at it, and I'm just like, what the heck is that? <laughs> Like, what is that supposed to be? <laughs> That's Mother Brain. It looks like a ripoff of a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, this came out in 94, which is roughly after Jurassic Park came out. Ow! Yeah. Oh my gosh, imagine if they made this as a remake of a game. And with the new graphics, that thing would look terrifying. I would love for Super Metroid to have a remake. Uh-oh. Like, Here comes a big like one. I feel like it's one of those games that just needs a remake. Nope, I'm stuck. Nope, get up! Uh. Yeah. This is literally a part of the game. Oh no. Just when all hope is lost. Bam! <laughs> 
Taste that rainbow, motherfucker! Oh gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I love what Koopa oh the Changeling says, babe, the Monty the Baby Metroid. Get away from my mama, you bitch! <laughs> I have Godzilla on the brain now, no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's who you named Monty, huh? The baby Metroid? I'm only realizing, does the mother brain's body have Dude, come on! Oh gosh. It's based on aliens, might as well quote it. Oh gosh, it's got like, it's got like, uh, Acid or kept some coming out of its mouth. <laughs> Baby Metroid, get out while you can. Stop. I'm fine. Uh, and then, no. How dare you? And this is when the emotions kick in. Time to unleash some <laughs> anger. How dare you kill my child? <laughs> oh yeah, that cry is so satisfying. You get to finish off Mother Bra This is just like, this is just one of those scenes that do such a good job at playing into, you know, like a cutscene that you're kind of involved in. Yeah. Um, there's a way of explaining that. It's a cutscene that you're actually involved in, and... Die, pitch. <laughs> like, you get that sense of hopelessness when you try to fight it, and then all of a sudden you're rescued. Uh oh. Uh, Aaron kind of explained it best in uh, his discussion on Mega Man X, the sequelitis. Time to go! This is not. This is not stress inducing at all. No, it isn't. Ah, oh, damn it! Fuck off. <laughs> Less talking, more running for lives. Yeah. Fuck off. No. Ah, oh, fuck. Motherfucker, get out of the way. Like, let me leave. Dip. Do your flip! Oh, son of a bitch. No. Come on. I bet he's like, I'm tired, though. You can rest when you're on the ship! Damn it. No. Start flipping. Damn it. I know that I'm supposed to- I'm trying to beat this under three hours, but I know there's the one thing that I always tend to do, and I'm still gonna commit to it. Oh uh, yeah? You'll see in a bit. God, the game's going slow on me. Come on! Oh no. Oh, it's doing lag? There's some terrible slowdown going on. Come on! No. I know you guys didn't help much, but still. Oh, feel bird. Yes, these guys helped me out. I'm freeing them. Don't worry, I'll get out, I'll get out. I'm very, very close. That one bird looked like a peacock. I like it, it was, even though it's green. Damn it. Come on! Come on! Get out of the way! There. Now, time for the final moment. Did I beat this game under three hours? If so, I'm gonna show you guys what it is.
Goodbye, Planet Zebs. What was the point of freeing those animals? <laughs> You'll see why. If you look carefully on the right side of the explosion, once it stops white. Okay, so you look on the right side of the explosion. There it goes. In general, I just prefer to save the animals. Uh. And the clear time, two hours and 20 minutes. Ooh. You did it. Yep. Now we gotta let the credits roll and then we'll see the full ending. was asking if you were going to do a playthrough of Star Fox 64. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I... Juke, I think you're right. I think you already did play. There we go. Uh, someone asked if you if you were gonna do a playthrough of Starbuck 64, but then Juke said, "I don't know if he already did." I did. Okay, that answers the question. I wasn't sure. I was like, "You've done a lot of Star Fox games, so I'm just not sure." So the only Star Fox games I played were just the SNES and the N64 version. Uh, the SNES version, I was gonna go through different routes, but then I realized that the game was so hard. And it turns out there's a glitch in the game where sometimes you will occasionally take damage even if you avoid an attack. So I uh, can't even do like okay. a no damage run or I can't even like trust the game to go through like different routes. Oh, that's that's stupid. <laughs> well, like the, the developers didn't know that. That's the thing. Um, with, um, with Star Fox 64, um, I basically just, oh, time for the moment of truth. I just went through one route and I was satisfied with it. There we go. That's Samus with her entire suit off. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> the question guy's like, hot damn. <laughs> I, I literally thought the only... I thought that the entire time the character was a guy. Did you just know that now? Yeah, because I've never played Metroid, so... Okay. Ju uh, Shuka, either, like, I will admit that I didn't grow up playing Metroid games. It wasn't until I was in my 20s that I started playing Metroid games and greatly appreciated them. Even I knew that Samus Aran was a female. I mean, I never, like, grew up, like, being around anyone who played Metroid. So, like, I didn't know anything about Metroid at all. <laughs> This is my first experience of someone playing it. <laughs> yeah, Reality Checks ha uh, said, have you seen Smash? There's a Zero Suit version of Samus. No, I haven't seen Smash either. You haven't played a single Smash game? No, because any, any Smash game I own is either the Smash... Um, uh, me uh, Smash Melee. Or it's the... Uh, one on the 3DS. I can't afford the one on the Switch. I am poor. Metro's got a lot of interest in lore, Shuka, especially with the Metro Prime Trilogy. That's Those are the games I still have yet to get through. I didn't know Samus was a girl until Ultimate came out. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I am uncultured, I have been sheltered. <laughs> Anyways, oh my God. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. This is the last of me playing these unconventional... Ch I don't even know if this is considered unconventional, but it was a challenge nonetheless, so I guess that's the whole I, point. I, I closed the stream down because I'm like, I got a clip from Dice saying, Samus is a girl? I'm like, God damn it. Anyways, <laughs> you guys have a good night. Good night.